Can you close the door? Hello. Uh, welcome, everyone. Uh, this is the third edition of r 2 uh, This is the introduction talk. We will make a small explanation of the previous editions. Uh, I'd like to use some numbers. So the first edition was 100 people. Uh, it was a 50 euros ticket. There was five trainings in two, in two tracks. Uh, we did everything in a single place, so we had to limit the amount of people, and it was a bit of problematic for the air conditioner and so on. Uh, there was 14 talks. Uh, we give free air to licenses to everyone. Uh, we're really generous. We did. Uh, it was a three-day conference. This uh, the next year was four-day conference. Uh, we prepared like a dinner, which was something that we did also the second and third year. And there was breakfast, free breakfast, pizza, beers, etc. Also free merchandising, uh, and we did some. We played some cheap tune music in in the background. Uh, last year there was like uh, almost a t the twice the, the people. Uh, we used two different locations because the trainings was better to have like a separate room uh, instead of having the, the same place, so we can have like a, a more room for the people. But it was not enough because uh, everybody was expecting to to enter the room and it was not big enough. So um, we also st uh, extended one more day because people was interested in having like longer trainings and and, and there was like no, no time to do that in a, in in two tracks because if we if we do two tracks it's impossible to attend or everything so we decided to to extend the conference for two days for uh, one more day and there was four more talks than the in in the first edition and we did some hardware badges uh, but it was impossible to do uh, hardware badges for everybody uh, but we were Trying things, so we also had like uh, free bags, uh, free merchandising, uh, free breakfast, chip tune, etc. Uh, so what's new this time? This time we did uh, two separate tickets, one for the trainings and one for the conference. This way we solve the problem of uh, how many attendees uh, we need to uh, uh, fill one room, and, and the others they will know that they will not be uh, able to attend the, the trainings because uh, the training requires. Uh, a specific room, and we cannot do like a streaming uh, training and things like that. So it's better to, uh, to just adjust to a single place. And we will. Uh, I'm sorry for the people who didn't was able to make it into the training. Uh, so maybe next year we'll do like or separate trainings with different uh, topics, or uh, maybe one introductory, one more advanced, or like bigger rooms for that. This time we have three more talks. So we are we are in 21 talks. Um, there are more than 200 attendees. Uh, there is more people than the one that we, the, there is here right now. So I guess that in the afternoon they will be uh, they will be coming. Um, we printed the the first book. So this book is online. Uh, everything is in GitHub, so you can download the EPUB or PDF. But we decided to make like a printed copy. Um, we are introducing the R2 coins, uh, which is a, a small 3D printed uh, uh, coin, uh, and we will uh, I will explain later uh, how to use that. Uh, there is also a, a competition, a CTF uh, competition with some Geopardy like uh, quizzes, etc. There is also another competition, uh, which is a hardware competition, uh, which impl uh, requires implementing support for uh, uh, some specific hardware. Um, also, there is a support for multi-architecture uh, words in Air 2 Wars. So last year we introduced the, the for first time the Air 2 Wars competitions, which is a, a combat between two different programs that are fighting in the same memory space. So this time we added support for multi-architecture and we make the, the we open source the the tool, so everybody can can test everything. Um, other things that are new is that we, uh, there are discounts in the restaurants. So um, as long as we did the reservation in the Musol restaurant yesterday, there is a 10% discount for everybody with the wristband in the Musol restaurant here in Glorious and also the Tapa Tapa restaurants. And well, finally, we decided to make another jump. And instead of having like chiptune music in background, we organized a, a chiptune party. 
So there will be a, a place, uh, it's like three, four streets away from this place. Uh, and there will be a chiptune party starting at 9 until 3 a.m. or 4 a.m., whatever. And there will be three musicians uh, uh, playing with Game Boy, Amiga, and so on. And there is a, a somebody who was uh, interested in contributing also that will be playing with uh, uh, some electronic music later. So there was four trainings this time. Uh, there was an introduction to Radar 2. Uh, then there was a free introduction, uh, developer internals for helping people to learn how to uh, develop Radar 2, how to understand, how to extend with plugins, and how to fix bugs, etc. And another one related to how the corrupt, uh, what happens when you corrupt the heap, and, and how to analyze that, and how to exploit it, etc. There is, the, for the CTF competition, you have to check the ctf.radar.org. Right now, there is more than 100 people uh, participating in this CTF. Um, well, uh, as long as you, um, I guess that most of you know how uh, the CTF is going on. But anyway, it's like a, a website that you connect and you have like a binaries that you can download. And you have to solve the crack miss. There are questions that you have to answer, etc. Uh, all the competitions have different prices um, because that depends on the on the kind of competition. But the idea is that um, the three winners for each competition they will get prizes. Um, for the CTF, there is three different levels of uh, of problems that to solve. There is like the easy, the medium, and hard, and there are different points for them. <coughs> And, and yeah, and we will give the, the prices for those three uh, first. We are using the Facebook platform, and thanks to Murphy, who is uh, setting up all the CTF here, here in the first row. <laughs> the second competition is the hardware support uh, competition, which is done by uh, Xvilka, which is also in the first row. <laughs> And he brings some interesting boards that are not supported by Rodar2 right now, which is this Symantec, uh, PLC, ARM, uh, RISC-B, etc. Orange-P, C-Sky, etc. And the idea is if you submit uh, patches, pull requests, uh, and other fixes for adding support for these platforms to Rodar2, uh, we will evaluate these contributions and give the, the prices for the last day. So if you have questions for this competition, uh, the prices will be uh, the development boards, the, the, the same actu uh, actual development boards that we are like uh, trying to have support for them. And there will be also flags, books, etc. And if you have any other question, just contact Xvilka. This is some pictures of these boards. Uh, Air2 Wars competition, uh, we started doing it last year. Uh, it was organized by uh, Squatter and me, uh, but this time Squatter didn't make it, so uh, I will be uh, managing that, and Squatter will be setting up a streaming in Twitch with a uh, with, uh, video. So we will uh, set up a secondary stream outside so people can see how the competition is going on. And the idea is that after, uh, on every break, we will run all the, all the bots, and we will have like winners for, for them. Uh, the winners for these competitions, uh, so you upload the, your bot. Your bot is basically an assembly program that you have to upload in radar.org slash app. So this is this URL. And uh, on each break, we will run this in the big screen. So the three winners will get the, the coins. And these coins can be exchanged by books, t-shirts, Etc. The thing is that uh, sometimes to implement, uh, to write your bot, you will find bugs in the assembler or you will find bugs in the emulation, etc. And this is an excuse to fix bugs and, and, and phone them. And so if you write a bot for Air to Wars and then you identify bugs and you fix them, you have twice opportunities to get prizes because there is also uh, prizes for the people who is contributing during the days of the conference. So the last day of the conference, we will give, uh, we will evaluate all the all the contributions. Uh, we will check all the pull requests that have been merged into the master branch. And for these people, we have also special prizes for them. So please go and try to contribute and and play the uh, the competitions. Uh, so as I said, Air to Wars is basically a, a shared memory space, which is the uh, the part of the middle. 
um, in the left side there is one program, in the right side there is the other program, so it's fighting one program against the other one. Both are running in the same memory space, and the purpose of these programs is to find the other program in memory, and when the other program is found, it's, uh, it should be overwriting the, the, the program memory. So uh, the purpose is make crash the other programs. Um, so when you crash the other program, you're the winner. So there is like different classifications, and at the end, uh, the, there is like different runs. And what's interesting is that this time we are added support for multi architecture. This means that you can fight MIPS against ARM or x86 against MIPS, etc. Uh, so feel free to write bots in any uh, assembly language, uh, so any architecture that you are interested in in playing with them. So this is some of the stuff that we will be uh, giving away for the prizes. There is a Raspberry Pi with Nest-like cases. Uh, there are T-shirts uh, for Qter, Frida, and Rather. There is also development boards, uh, gamepads, uh, books, flags, beers, uh, GPL licenses, and stickers. Uh, the talks will start after me. Uh, I'm sorry for starting a bit late, but there were some technical problems. Um, so please check the website. The schedule should be updated. And if you have any questions, you can use the Telegram channel for uh, asking your questions. <coughs> and there is a URL. Uh, if you check rather slash map, there is a. It will open Google Maps, and and you will get like the um, the locations of all the places that we are doing the conference. So right now, uh, we, we have been using the UPF building for the trainings. We are using the MediaPro building for the conference. Then there was the location of the restaurant that we did the dinner yesterday. And then there is also the location for the Saturday party. So let's begin.